The Denver Center for the Performing Arts is making the audience a part of its newest theater experience. It is an interactive performance combining stories, games, and a lot of laughs. Dylan Thomas shows us The Last Defender. The DCPA's newest experience is taking immersive theater to the next level, challenging ticket holders to step in and prevent World War III. It's like you're inside of an arcade game, and once you tell that to people, and they realize, oh, okay, now I understand what this is. We're, we're telling the story ourselves. We're part of the story. It's a trip to the 1980s. It's immersive, and it takes you over as soon as you get into it. Only you can prevent a nuclear world war, and your team is on the clock. Hooray! With tongue-twisting tools standing between you and victory. Set phase attractors to bilateral. It's just the silliest, goofiest fun. Colorado's Nathan Allen wrote and directs The Last Defender. It's a wild, strange work of art. The DCPA's newest experience. It's fun to like come back and go like, oh, I figured out how to make a living doing this nonsense. <laughs> so it's, it's fun to share with old friends. This experience takes you, the ticket holder, into the story. It's a live action game Done. where you are the, the player and the character uh, in the story. All without putting introverts in uncomfortable places. It's built by somebody who wants to feel comfortable doing these sorts of things. If you want in the game, you have two months to join the team and save the world. At the end of it, we see you know friends and complete strangers just sort of high-fiving and hugging each other. If you'd like to help prevent World War III with The Last Defender, visit cbsdenver.com. We have information on how you can buy tickets in Denver. Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. It's a lot of pressure preventing <laughs> I know, World I'm War III. I know, I'm nervous already. Glad